Hello friends and viewers. Today I am going to talk about the transplantation in this video and I will talk about the what is the transplantation and what are the organ can be transplanted and the types of the transplantation and how this transplant can be rejected after transplantation. So the transplantation is a medical procedure in which an organ or a tissue is removed from one person and placed to the another person or the same person. The most popular transplantation is the kidney transplantation in the world because this is the most successful and maximally done transplantation in the world. So if you think this is donor and this human has two kidneys. So this human can give this recipient human one kidney easily but in which situation this recipient human need the kidneys there are two situation the number one situation when this recipient human do not have kidneys for example the human have got congenital disease that destroyed his kidneys and the second option is that when the human has damaged his kidneys after birth by accident so this is why this recipient human need at least one kidney from the donor and this is the process of transplantation and the transplantation mostly used for the solid organ or tissues but blood is also can be transplanted but those transplantation is called the transfusion because blood is liquid so do you know the how many organs can be transplanted and today's most of the organ have tried for the transplantation for example the heart kidney and the liver are the most transplanted organ in the world among them kidney is the most transplanted organ and heart kidney and liver are the most successfully transplanted organ in the world and also the lung pancreas intestine and the thymus also has been transplanted and apart from the organ some tissues like the bone and tendon they are referred to as a musculoskeletal grafts they are also can be transplanted and cornea skin heart bulbs nerves and the veins all are can be transplanted very easily and most of the case they successfully transplanted it and retain in the recipient body by avoiding the rejection but some organ like the brain still cannot be transplanted it. and the world has not faced still the transplanted brain so far but if any doctor or science is able to transplant the brain in that day probably the you can change the human from one to another because brain is the identity of a human so what are the types of the transplantation scientists have categorized different types of transplantation to make it easy and to understand that from where the organ is coming and where the organ is going and they have categorized into at least four classes like the autograft allograft isograft or syngenic transplantation and the genograft autograft is called when an organ or a graft is removed from a person and then placed in the same person this is very important because sometimes when people are burned and they burn the skin especially the face skin can be burned and in this case those uh, burnt skin can be replaced by the skin from the other parts of the body and in this case the rejection rate is almost zero 
meaning that this autograpted organ or tissue can be survived for the long life of the recipient or the person. But the allograft is called when one organ or tissue is removed from a person and this organ and tissue is placed to another person but the same species for example from human to human so in this case the donor human and the recipient human are different in terms of the immunological background more specifically these two people have different major histocompatibility complex or MEC on their every cell surface. So when the graft is transplanted the chance of rejection is highest and I will discuss a bit how this rejection is actually happen at the end of the video. An isograft or syngenic transplantation is called when the graft or organ or tissue is removed from a person and this graft is transplanted to a identical twin because of they are identical twin their major histocompatibility complex or the MEC molecule is almost same so the chance of rejection is least for this type of graft transplantation and the genograft is called when the graft is isolated from one species but the graft is placed to another species for example if the graft is removed from a monkey and those graft can be transplanted into human that is called the genograft and some scientists are trying to doing this type of genograft transplantation for the heart bulb of the human. They are trying to collect the heart bulb from the peak and this heart bulb is trying to transplant it into the human heart bulb because sometimes human heart bulb is damaged by the autoimmune disorder or the bacterial infection. In that case, human need the heart bulb because without heart bulb the heart cannot be functioned properly and those people can die due to the heart failure and this genograft transplantation the chance of rejection is very very high so among them the autografts is mostly safest transplantation and then the isograft and then the allograft and the, then the genograft and this type of rejection is only happen for the mismatched MEC molecule and MEC molecule is expressed all of the cell of the human body so when a donor tissue or organ is placed in the recipient tissue those MEC molecule are detected as a foreign molecule that's why they are rejected how this rejection actually happen and how safe to doing a transplant in human so i have told that the safest transplantation is the autograft and the most difficult and dangerous transplantation is the genograft but why the transplantation is rejected the rejection mainly happen by the immunological reaction because when a transplant or a tissue or a organ is placed in a recipient human recipient human bodies have a lot of cd8 t cell or called the cytotoxic t cell and this t cell can recognize that which cell have the self MAC and which cell do not have the self MAC. 
so when this foreign organ is coming they express the foreign emissary with the foreign antigen so this recipient cytotoxic t cell kill this foreign emissary containing cell so in this way they destroy the organ and another mechanism is by the b cell and sometimes the memory t cell and memory b cell also can enhance the rejection of the organ and b cell produce the antibody and those antibody treat this organ cells as a foreign material and they think that they are foreign they are dangerous for the body so those type of antibody bind to the donor molecule especially the msc molecule and in this way they opsonize the donor cell and recipient phagocytosis phagocytic cell like the macrophage they kill these cells so in this way the t cell and the b cell mediated rejection is happen when a transplant is coming from the foreign human body so this is uh, the summary how the transplant can be rejected but this is a very brief description i hope i will make a different in detail video how the transplant can be rejected and in this video this is the total summary about the transplantation of the organ or tissue from one human to another human hope you have liked this video if you like this video please subscribe like and do not forget to share it